Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. We have got to sit and look at this story for what it is. Is it a transference of energy? Did the guard inhabit an entity? Or did the guard was sick that day? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the universe. And we are nothing but energy anyway. Our spirits are. <clears throat> And it's weird. That's the only thing I would say. It's very, very, very weird. And it's 11 days that the queen died. 11 days. Transfer energy. Celebrities dying. And the 11th. What significance does that hold for my conspiracy theories? Get down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about this guard who i'm not saying they didn't have medical history going on that they have medical illness but it's just very funny that a deceased corpse would be behind him and he just magically falls over you know ah well that's just for my conspiracy theory people again get down in the comments and let me think let me uh know what y'all thought about that but anyway, TMZ brought, brought it out, brought it out for us, and um, they did a story on it. They said Queen Elizabeth II guard faced plants next to Queen's coffin. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we get on into the article. It said one of the royal guards took a rough fall at Westminster Hall, smacking hard onto the floor as he stood watch beside Queen Elizabeth II coffin. Okay. The guard was swaying side to side at the foot of the casket Wednesday before landing face front on the ground. The crash echoed through the hall with people rushing to his aid. Now, why was the guard swaying from side to side? Because usually when a person faints, they just faint. You know, their whole body just collapses. But And the guard's supposed to stay 100% still like a tree trunk. You understand what I'm saying? So why would he be swaying back to forth, back from side to side, right by the queen's casket? It's something of any energy transference wasn't going on okay but going on going on for those who can hear me hear me for those who can't research okay but going back to the article it said royal guards normally rotate around the coffin <coughs> every 20 minutes with a full shift lasting six hours the bbc which was streaming the ceremony cut the feed until the incident was resolved why they didn't let us see all of it? Why they didn't let us see the comings and goings of what they did for this guard and how this guard really looked when he came back from his fall from above, okay? It's unclear what caused the guard to collapse. No words on his condition either. Hmm. But why would they cut a feed? You know what I'm saying? We don't do that over here. Well, we do editing over here. We make it seem like it went this way when it really went that way. Because that's the art of manipulation. Okay? For people as well as evidence. But anyway, we go on from there. It said the guard wasn't the only one losing consciousness at Westminster Hall. 41-year-old lady Gabriella Windsor, the cousin of the Queen Elizabeth II, collapsed earlier in the service. 
Okay, what's with all these folk collapsing? Okay, what what? Tell me, people, what's going on? All right, it seems like some hokey pokey things going on, and <laughs> only certain people are privileged to what that hokey pokey was gonna be like. Okay, and who it was going to affect. But anyway, Lady Gabriella was in the receiving line with other members of the royals when several people began to look concerned, including her mother, Princess Michael of Kent. All right, her husband Thomas Kingston rushed to her aid. She reportedly regained consciousness but left the event. Well, why she had to leave? Hmm. What was going on? People couldn't handle the transfer of the energy or what was going on? Y'all tell me. All right. Lady Gabriella had a slight or had a tight relationship with the Queen for years. Uh, Q-E-I. Okay, the Queen II attended her 2019 wedding. But wasn't she supposed to um, attend the wedding? We you know the royals. They had to support the royals. So I don't know what was going on with this particular situation. Okay, but that's all TMZ had to report. So let's see what CNN was saying about the incident. Okay, wait a minute. I don't want that. We want that. Oh, man. Okay, it's not letting me pull the that one up let's see here let's go to why do we have all these videos okay this comes from newsweek.com and it was a Jamie Burton had put it out for us they said Queen's Guard collapses how long a British guard shifts okay the four days of Queen Elizabeth the second lying in state got off to a rocky start when one of the Queen's guards collapsed by her coffin. The Queen's body arrived in Westminster Hall on Wednesday where people have been given a chance to file past and pay respects. Unfortunately, just after midnight UK time, a guard, a member of the Royal Company of Archers, collapsed. See the significance of 11 and 1? And 12. Okay. Because if the guards were not. Uh, physically fit. To stand in attention. And just look like they were. Frozen in time. Why didn't they tell their superiors. That they weren't feeling well. Or were they well. Until the procession started. Okay. But anyway, going back from there, when contacted for comment, the House of Lords acknowledged the incident but had no further details about the well-being of the man. A member of the vigil was tempor temporarily taken unwell and had to withdraw from the vigil, they told Newsweek. Why are these people, you know, f you know, falling out or they're not feeling well when we're talking about, you know, the Queen and how it's winding down before uh, the 19th? Okay, um, y'all tell me. That's all I'm going to say. The footage was captured in live feed and fellow guards and security rushed to help him. He was one of many standing in the formation around Elizabeth Coffin. But how, how long is each guard expected to stand on duty? Well, let's see. Surrounding the Queen's Coffin in Westminster Hall are three ceremony units as she lies in state. That's another odd number. Overnight in the UK, standing on each corner of the raised platform were members of the Gentlemen at Arms, the Royal Company of Archers, and the Yeomen of the Guard. Royal Guards are standing to protect the Queen on rotational shifts round the clock. These are broken up into four different six-hour shifts for each soldier, 24 hours a day, until the Queen's funeral on Monday. Within these six-hour shifts, the Guards swap over from standing on the uh, platform that helped the Queen every 20 minutes okay it was during one of the shift swaps that a member of the royal company of archers collapsed in the seconds leading up to his fall he could be seen swaying and even toppled off the platform at one point but managed to stay on his feet he collapsed at 1226 
And if you add up 1226, you come up with 11, don't you? UK time and police officers were seen rushing to his aid. All of the other guards remained motionless, protecting the Queen's coffin. The live feed from inside Westminster Hall cut off and extend, in, instead displayed a wide shot of the House of Parliament in Westminster instead. Almost eight minutes later, the live feed returned to the inside the Westminster Hall where the public continued to file past the coffin and members of the three units stood guard. People lining up around London to see the Queen lying in state took to social media to comment on how the line had stopped around this time. Many across social media expressed their well wishes for the collapsed guard, but no re information has yet been released on his condition. Now, why would you stop the feed and after a certain time you go back to streaming? Well, you know, in some court cases and some, you know, uh, instances when the um, cops are trying to gather information they use recordings where the recordings show you every millisecond every second of whatever they're trying to show or or they're trying to uh what do you call it uh, uh captured within video time so is it plausible they saw something that shouldn't have been there and they just had to erase it is that plausible of course it is Temperament is always out there for those who want to not let people know what really happened. Okay, so sometimes you you know you have to do that. And we know sometimes officers of the law can definitely, you know, manipulate the situation because they don't want other things to be seen. But, ah, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.